love building a golf course. You gotta be crazy or something. <clears throat> but I love doing it. where 16 and green is located and 17 green, there was a big pocket of sand and it went deep. So we just kept digging it, digging it out, digging it out, digging it out. All of a sudden this big chasm was out there and there was no, no place for the green. The green was gone. My bride came by, Al said to, said to me, well, why don't you just put an island green out there? Pete Dye will go for a swim today. That's class with Pete Dye. I'm not an architect, see? As an architect, you have to have a degree in something. I, I didn't, couldn't finish grade school, high school, or college. You try to get as much variety as possible. And the man upstairs gave you a great piece of ground in the valley here. It rolled up and down and had the river going through it. So it had a lot of natural aspects to it. When we got over to the fifth hole and saw the tunnel, we could work it out. And when you can walk through a natural tunnel to go into the next tee, that's, you can't find that any other place. And when a person plays the golf course, they, they remember those, those long views. And it has nothing to do with the playability of the golf course. It's the ambience around the golf course and inside the golf course that really makes it. I just was just here for a couple years, <laughs> like 12. <laughs> An artist is somebody draws something. I've always just told people what I want and uh, pray that they do it. And a lot of times when I tell them what to do, they do it a lot better than I have thought and just leave it that way. So you never know. If you build a golf course, if it's then successful, that's the best thing. If you're, as long as in your profession, somebody still mentions your name and doesn't just put you in jail, you're okay. <laughs>